What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and today we're going to be talking about even more grounded 1.4 news, including the potential name for the 1.4 update. Now, this all starts, of course, with a tweet from Grounded, which says, We're heading to PAX East. Excited for update 1.4? Preview what's coming to Grounded when it becomes fully yoked on April 16th. And then they give us a date and a time, because they are going to PAX, and they're going to do a showcase of the new 1.4 update. So... The most important thing, I guess, is that we are there at that time. I'm sure I'll be live reacting to that, or if not, I'll have a video up very shortly after the stream, breaking down everything they show off in the 1.4 showcase. But what's important about this tweet is that it says it becomes fully yoked. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that the name of the update is the fully yoked update, which is an interesting name to say the least. Now the actual image included with the tweet here just says ready to get fully yoked question mark. So I think there is a good chance that the next update is called the fully yoked update or something along those lines. Now, what does this mean? Now fully yoked can refer to a couple of things in the game. One of the things is when you are starting a new game in the custom game settings, one of the options you can turn on is fully yoked. Okay, that's it then, that's it solved. That's what the option is. But that just enables all milk molars. So it could be something referring to milk molars. Maybe the new update has a bunch of milk molars. Maybe the treasure that we're looking for is a bunch of milk molars and we can do a bunch more upgrades. That would be pretty simple and it could very well be that and that would be very cool. Um, I don't know what we would upgrade with more milk molars. Maybe just a new trinket slot perhaps or more mutation slots. I'm not too sure, but we'll have to wait and see. But what I think it is, is I think it's referring to the yoked girth figurines in the backyard. Now, there are a couple of these around the backyard, but most importantly, there is a big package in the trash heap, which is almost like um, a figurine packet for yoked girth himself. Now, there is also an image of a sword on this packet, which someone pointed out in my 1.4 breakdown trailer, that it looks exactly like the mint sword, which is in that trailer. Just instead of being metal, it's now mint. So there's a possibility that we're getting that sword in the game, which could mean that we're also getting the daggers, which are on the back of this packaging too, which are dual wield daggers, which look very cool too. Both of these figures are also in the game. You have the yoked girth figurine head, which is in just north of the hedge, and you have the yogi swole head, which is in the fire ant hill. The Moldock figurine is kind of, I guess, you can get a statue for it from the Moldock castle. And then Lurkin Shriek, which is the fourth character, doesn't actually exist anywhere in the yard as far as we can tell. But this could be what it's referring to. Maybe these four characters same number of characters that are in Grounded, are somehow going to get into the game and they'll have to fight them as bosses or something. I'm not too sure how they could implement them, but it could be a very, very cool way of doing it because they would make for some very unique bosses, let me say that much. Yeah, there's plenty of art around the yard of all of these characters, and I think this could be a very cool way to implement them into the game as they kind of been lurking around, but nothing too crazy so far. Make sure you tune into that live stream when it does happen on March the 23rd, and I will be breaking it down as soon as it happens. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, and I will see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.